all know what we're facing this month, comfort foods, cakes, cookies, pies, hams, macaroni and cheese, you name it. And if we're not careful, we could be tipping the scales as we ring in the new year. But there is a way to eat up and still look good and feel great this holiday season. Karen Burnett is a registered dietitian. She joins us now from her kitchen to show us how it's done. Karen, it looks like you've whipped up quite a festive feast for us today. I have, Kim, and you are absolutely right. Holiday food does not have to mean holiday fat. So I prepared some examples for us just to kind of get us in the right direction. To start off, we have a fruit and nut granola mix, fairly low fat, and we've added in some dried berries to add a little color and a little flavor. The next item we have is an herb rubbed pork tenderloin with a Dijon apricot mop sauce. That's just a long way of saying it tastes really, really good. Saved a little mop sauce off to the side so that you can add it to it. Very low fat because of the pork tenderloin. And next, my personal favorite is a healthy holiday punch. I made a simple substitution of sugar-free cherry Kool-Aid in place of the cherry Kool-Aid that normally has sugar in it. And since we've made our meal low fat, now we have room for dessert. Where would the holidays be without cookies? We have two tone spirals, which are peanut butter and chocolate flavored cookies. They're great for the holidays and add that little swirl. Next, we have the chocolate mint meringue kisses. It's a light little touch, but the peppermint has a great punch. If you like pistachios, the pistachio cookie curls are a wonderful dessert. And finally, we have the iced spiced cookies. That nice little spice flavor that kind of tops off any meal. So there you have it, Kim. Some simple recipes that are heart healthy for the holidays. But those holiday menus that you really, really enjoy that are just standard tradition, you can alter those as well. Some simple changes will make it very possible to have a heart healthy meal. We have some items right here. Applesauce can be substituted for half of the fat in a recipe. Won't make it uh, real apple-y, but it'll add that moisture to it. And you can use sugar substitutes for baking and for items like punch, as I did with the cherry Kool-Aid. I use sugar-free Kool-Aid instead of the regular. Mixed dried berries are always great to throw in special to add that extra touch to other desserts.